What brings us to the city of Nagpur has been revealed by the title of this film. Yet, as I stand a mere feet away from this intriguing individual, his enigmatic smile, it picks my curiosity. Mate, did you actually run from decathlon? Hello? The man's smile remained a delightful mystery, but not the direction he was running in. You wouldn't possibly run into oncoming traffic now, uh, would you? Now the answer to that question from behind the steering wheel is no, but then, have you met pedestrians? <laughs> wow, what a save that was. I know exactly why this guy has such a white smile on his face. One of the biggest additions to the facelifted Kia Seltos is the introduction of a level 2 ADAS. While I had a chance to interact with a few of those 17 new assistance features on well-paved sections around Nagpur, Kia had made special provisions to demonstrate frontal collision avoidance and brake assist using a soft foam target. The system detects obstructions in its way and brings the car to an immediate stop, almost lifting both its rear wheels in the process. Not stopping there, Kia went the extra mile to exhibit more features including rear cross-traffic alert and collision avoidance, safe exit warning as well as blind spot warning and collision avoidance. The fact that most of the hardware and the brains of this system are shared with the Kia EV6 only tells me that it's very well calibrated for the real world, further fine-tuned for our Indian driving conditions. Now, the reason why I'm stressing extensively on these features is because with this updated Seltos, there are new safety components that have been added to the car, like radars in the front, cameras, a sensor here for the ADAS system. And also, what I've been told is that the structure has been reinforced at the right places, also due to the fact that there is a panoramic sunroof that sits on the roof of it. So, the safety worthiness of this car has definitely gone up. But before you believe that this update is quite boring and all about safety, let me tell you, that the car, it receives a lot of fresh treatments on the outside, making it, or rather enhancing, the already sporty looking aesthetics of it. The signature DRLs. They still extend outside the headlamps, but instead of sitting over the grille, they now cut through it. The bumper is now larger to accommodate the wider grille and there are four ice cubes instead of three in the fog lamp housing. Attention has been paid to the illumination units of the rear as well. It's now all LED and there's that striking bar connecting both the tail lamps, which themselves are now larger. Also notice sequential turn indicators. Open the door and you're welcomed to a cabin that now feels a lot more roomy thanks to the panoramic sunroof. It also feels modern and that could be attributed to the larger digital screens with crisp animation, sleeker dashboard control panels and AC vents as well. Customers looking for an entirely new experience would appreciate the sage green color for the interior that's being offered exclusively with the X-Line trim. And boy oh boy what a looker it is, especially from this rear 3 fourth. quite like this angle, dual exhaust tips. Now the number of changes that they've made to the Seltos by very modestly calling it a mere facelift is just impressive. And you have access to all of these features irrespective of what engine option you opt for. But if you keep aside the naturally aspirated petrol and if you keep aside the turbocharged diesel engine, there is one that unlocks a whole new driving style for the Seltos. After a short absence, the turbo petrol is back. The direct injection four-cylinder engine increases its displacement to a 1.5 litre. And with that comes a bump in power and torque. We've seen this unit in multiple formats like the Vorna, the Alcazar and the Karens. But it's here, in the Seltos, where you can enjoy it to the fullest. Now this very engine in the Verna is going to be a faster performing car, there is no doubt about it, but that is in the ideal situation. Out in the real world, this is a better car to hoon around in and I say that because stating the obvious, this is an SUV, that is a sedan, but then this being an SUV, you have an elevated driving position which means you can look further into the distance, you know exactly where you're placing the wheels, you can look at uh, people crossing the road while the ARAS warns you as well, so that combines and you are a much safer driver and the wheels themselves, they are bigger, you have more ground clearance as compared to a sedan, which means all of that combined, you can extract all of that horsepower better with the Kia Seltos and that is a good thing because this engine, it is quite an exciting thing to drive. Okay, now when you accelerate it hard, 
it does not kick you in the gut like the TSI engine would. But then again, don't for a second think that this does not have the performance because it does. The increment in speeds, it is right there. It is linear, but then it's quite an exciting car to drive. Can you imagine that? I mean, this is a family SUV. You can seat five people here, your friends, your family. It has a respectable boot size. But then, if you want to have a little bit fun, if you want to hoon around, that's not a problem as well, mister, because you can certainly slot it into sport, take manual control of the gearbox using these pedals behind the steering wheel, and boom, all of a sudden, you feel as if you are Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton, someone, someone from the racing fraternity. <laughs> now, talking about the transmission that we are driving, that is allowing me to have so much fun is a seven speed DCT. Now with this transmission, uh, the shifts, they are not the snappiest, they are not the fastest, but then that has been done to increase the life of it, to increase the longevity of it, because these transmissions, they're expensive to purchase, yes, but also expensive to maintain. So if say, suppose something goes wrong, you're going to shell out a lot to get your car back on the road. It misses out on that snappiness, it misses out on that aggressiveness, but then again, this is a much more reliable car in the longer run, which I think a lot of us Indians would be concerned about. Warranty, that is another thing that Kia is ensuring. Now, they haven't told us what is the warranty that they're offering with the Celtos, but it's going to be pretty much similar as compared to the previous one, with only more enhancements attached to it, uh, thanks to the ADAS features that we have on board. Coming back to the transmission that we are talking about, one thing that I really like is that when you take manual control, it holds the gears, but then when you are slowing down, when you are gradually reducing your speed, it blips and it does so quite intuitively. It knows what it is doing, but if you do get yourself an aftermarket exhaust on this, it could actually sound pretty cool. I am confident of that. Um, quite a good thing. This DCD transmission, as I said, not the fastest, not the snappiest, but you can still have a lot of fun definitely better than the IMT transmission. That is the second gearbox that they're offering with this engine. Now, why does the IMT transmission exist? Well, if you ask me, price benefit. VCT, again, quite expensive to buy. The IMT, not so much. With this new engine, the Celtos is obviously quicker. It's quicker by almost a second. So the earliest Celtos would do the 0 to 100 sprint in about 10 seconds, 9 point something. This one does it in 8.9 seconds, that is what they're claiming. But then I've launched it a couple of times in the morning and occasionally it's performed better than 8.9 seconds. I think uh, it's because of the colder conditions that we're driving in today. But that is a great thing, 8.9 seconds, um, almost 9 seconds. This is a 9 second car with this new engine. Obviously helping us achieve that time is the DCT transmission, but I believe that with the manual, it could have been faster. And I say that because when you launch it, it does not bam and it does not sprint off the line. It does not, you know, just launch. It takes its time. It takes half a fraction of a second to realize, okay, now is the time that I need to launch, that I need to unleash all of that horsepower. It does not do that. That is again part of that safe tuning that they've opted for the gearbox. But um, yeah. It's still an exciting car. I mean, you can still go about talking that you drive a sub 10 second 0 to 100 car. What I've also been noticing as I drive the car around is that with the new screen arrangement that we have here, it is uh, panoramic, it is also curved, so the driver has good visibility irrespective of the lighting condition. But also because of how the screens are designed, I have better visibility, better than the older Celtos because the screens, they sit lower and the view outside is just great, which means you can set the seat to its lowest setting, which you would want to do because it is quite a sporty cabin. Paddle shifters, nice leather wrapped steering wheel, um, cooled seats. They lack slight support on the side. I would have appreciated slightly better support with the bolster and some shoulder support. And the headrest is too far back. Um, it's not the best driving position, but then again, it's quite relaxed, it's comfortable. You'll arrive places after driving hundreds of kilometers, quite fresh and happy. Um, with better fuel efficiency as well. Now, again, the enhancements here, they, they're quite modest. They call, they're calling it a mere facelift, but the enhancements here are so much more than just a facelift. They've added the start stop function because of which the fuel efficiency has been aided. It's gone up by, I think, 1 kmpl um, on every model that gets this new feature. It dries so very well. The only thing left for you to do then would be to keep your weekends free. Ladies and gentlemen, Behold the truth behind my friend's infectious smile. The new Seltos has transformed into an epitome of aspiration. 
boasting an unparalleled level of perfection, achieving a remarkable level of completeness that not many SUVs in this segment promise to offer, not even its own sibling. Kia has truly outdone itself with this comprehensive facelift and I was absolutely thrilled by it. As for the title of the best SUV in its segment, stay tuned, together we shall uncover that very soon.